block man. Okay, and large block man. Wait, you can see him in the back over there. His arm. So this guy's gonna be pretty big. Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are reacting to Talanthric's new video. Uh, he just posted this video actually. Episode 73 Part 2 Update Leaks. So there's going to be some leaks. I already saw the thumbnail of this video. There was a clock woman in there. So it's going to be an exciting update. We're just going to react to it, see all the leaks, and uh, yeah, predict some things, I guess, if you leave some holes. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to be gone. showing some leaks for our next update in Toilet Tower. Tower update, so it's been yeah. almost 10 days since I did my last video. Um, I can explain, okay? I know I said I was going to try doing daily Bro's videos again, but I, I just hey, I've here, been dude. distracted with other things in real life. I've been offline a lot more. But anyways, what are we planning for the next update? So, a lot of people have been asking for okay. claw units like there are a lot clock of different units clock I saw men, and the only one we have in the game is i really hope it's not gonna be an explosive so we like, could definitely add paying. a lot more which is what we are planning to do so this update is going to be pretty big before you get any farther okay, into the video update. like, like and subscribe or else i'm gonna make evan's boat look like that so okay, here's the plan for the update good, this update bro. is going to be the episode 73 part 2 update but there yes. weren't too many new things in the episode 73 part no, 2 actually we go to it you can see the main yeah. new thing is that the upgraded Titan speaker man has a knife. So oh, they're not making knife, that new pretty cool. No you can way. see him using it on the toilet right here. And as you can tell, I don't think the toilet likes it. Look at him. So this oh, is that's a pretty man. decently powerful it's not knife. Just a and of course, he still has the arm cannon and the other cool upgraded Titan speaker man. I swear to God, if he has two arm cannons, I'm going to be mad. Fighting. And because we always add new stuff like that as he a has unit, one arm like cannon you look in the episode, at Titan sure. Cameraman, One you can see all the variants, like the Big Astro world. upgraded Titan Cameraman, Toxic, Saw, Normal Ones. But There's the only too many. Variant There's too many of the upgraded of Titan Speaker Man like. has been the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man so far. So that is why we're gonna be adding this. Hyper new should have been an ability. And also the hyper upgraded Titan guess, Speaker Man is like. gonna be leaving soon. It's about to hit 100k exist, and we're not There's removing hyper, it just like, yet because we've got this really update work. to work on, and then something else afterwards, and then we're gonna add the new exclusive crate. So will probably be okay, around 110 or 120k cool. exists. Okay, right now, my... predictions for the new exclusive prey. If you have any predictions, comment down below. Um, What do I think? What do I think the game needs? Maybe it's going to be... Okay, what? I feel like they're not going to make a unit crate. Like, something out of the actual episodes. I feel like it's going to be something original again, like the booster crate. So... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe like I don't know, like slowing units or something. I don't know. Tell me your prediction. My prediction. Up. It just depends on how long it takes us to make the next crate. But the next crate, we already have everything planned for. We already have the units made. It just only okay, needs to be scripted, the and then it's ready. But it's gonna be a secret what those units are. Okay. There's something completely new though. But you'll see. Something Anyways, back to what I was talking okay. about with this event. So here is slowing, what this new guy looks like okay. in game. Okay, our first little thing here: knife upgrade on Speakerman. Looks pretty cool. It's not the same model. I like that. He doesn't look exactly the same. He looks a little bit different. Okay, he does have one arm cannon, so that's good. Upgraded Titan okay, Speaker Man with a knife. We're just gonna call him the Knife Upgraded Titan Speaker Man because he has the knife. So, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing from the new episode we're adding. But we are okay. also having the clock event. So, the clock event the clock is gonna event? have its own that map, is actually its such own a cool game thing. mode, its own currency, and event and pass. That mode, is gonna be 60 tiers. 60 tiers? Of okay. Right now? 60 freaking tears that's actually so grind worthy i'm not grinding endless mode because that's just boring because you don't get like every single round you don't really get anything but the battle pass is like i'm so hyped for this bro i'm gonna play that on the stream for sure so far, we've only had ones that are 50. This one's gonna be 60, and okay. there's most likely gonna be a part two update to this. That has a, a part few two more clock update? units, but this update is okay, gonna so have like 30 seven or eight tiers or nine. And then part two? I, I think nine units. I think nine units. I forgot exactly nine how many, units? but it is a lot of new units in crazy. the clock event. And like so five like are gonna be on the crate, the three are gonna be in the event pass, and then there's still two more. Okay, so so three in the crate, much... three in the pass, and two like. 
maybe buyable like the leprechaun cameraman i don't know Mm, so we're still missing clock woman of course normal clock man timer man large clock man uh what else i guess like every single clock variant maybe Do they all have different powers okay that's pretty cool that's pretty cool pretty cool idea uh am i missing any I don't think... Actually, upgraded Titan Clock, man. Is that going to be an ultimate or a godly? I don't know. I hope it's an ultimate. Halfway done with scripting it. I'm really hoping we can get this update out around, yeah. like, Saturday. Maybe Sunday Saturday or Monday if it takes okay. too long. But I Hype? really want to aim for Saturday because that's when the most people are able to play. And I think yeah. it would be pretty cool. So here are some leaks from the clock event. I'm just going to show a few yeah, of the units. The oh, yeah. There are also, like, three or four new toilets. So there are new oh, units. New there are new too. toilets. This is event, a pretty big event. So the first leak is the magnet scientist toilet. Magnet so, scientist. As you can see, okay. This guy looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah. They did the legs instead of him floating this time. That's nice. Uh, yeah. That looks pretty cool. And I don't know why that it's attached. Wait, is it attached to this part or that part? I don't know. I, don't, I can't really see. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. He has a gun up here. And some magnets, I guess. It's a scientist toilet, but he has magnets. Yeah. And what are these magnets going to do? Well, all I'm going to say is they're not just for decoration, and you guys are going to find that out okay. the hard way whenever you play Maybe the clock Maybe they, event. like, so, absorb. So, good luck. Uh, it's something completely uh -huh. new, and the Oops. magnet units are not going to be on endless mode. Well, magnet toilets, because they're just too... You'll see, you'll see. It's they're something that wouldn't really make too much sense like. to on endless mode. Just like how the teacher student toilets aren't on endless mode, because, like, they just spawn randomly on the evil wave and their health right. scales a lot differently so it wouldn't really make too much sense for it to be guaranteed to spawn on a certain wave but anyways the next week okay. is the alarm clock man okay so as called it literally called it okay so yeah he looks pretty basic this is good accurate to the series because he does have that little Arm as you can head. see, he has an alarm clock as a head, and he looks pretty fancy. So this is probably one of the weakest clock men. He doesn't really do anything uh, yeah, too crazy, true, bro. but he there's also a large cool. clock man. Okay, and large clock man? Wait, you can see him in the back over there, his arm. So this guy's going to be pretty big. Okay, so he's going to be able to stop time, I'm guessing, for like a shorter amount of time, maybe like five seconds instead of ten it's really cool but i should mention okay so the alarm clock man pretty much just does alarm clock noises and it's aoe damage but the oh, alarm clock man has a lot more cool things he can do so his attack is pretty much just punching toilets but he has yeah. some more time stop abilities and in this update we don't have the future large clock man but he's way way stronger oh, yeah, the future large clock man and the clock spider thing i forgot yeah, okay. That sounds hype. Godly. This update has a godly and an ultimate. And an ultimate is crazy because we all Told only... you, told you. Ultimate upgraded Titan uh Clockman. I I I'm calling everything. I've even watched this video before. We have one ultimate in the game right now. And we Wait, actually is only be in the have league? three godlies in the game right now. Oh. And this is only part one of the clock update. Part two is going to have another godly. So the clock event... Oh, this is only part one. All these one units ultimate. are in part I'll one. show one more leak of a clock That's unit. Crazy. So here is the clock woman. And you can okay. see she looks pretty... Looks pretty cool. Um, One problem? What is the shine effect, bro? That's really annoying. Yes, I'm guessing it's going to be able to uh, freeze certain toilets with this. Like, time stop them for like one second or something. Pretty cool. She's going to be pretty unique and actually kind of strong. So what she does yeah. is she's going to boost attack speed, which, I mean, we already have oh, a couple okay. other units that boost pretty attack nice. speed, but she also is going to shoot toilets with a gun that has a 5% chance to freeze them for oh, three 5%. seconds. I guess now, that is why well, she has a really cool golden gun. So she can not only speed up units around her, but can also okay. freeze toilets. And hey, a lot of the units in this update are going to have time-related abilities, like being able to stop 
stop time, make other units attack faster. Well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, she's the only one that does that, thinking about it now. And also, slow down toilets. There are like a lot of units that are going to be able to do that. Units this are going to be the like event, So, of course, a lot of things are going to be time related. This is also the event with the most new toilets, because there are five new toilets in this event, and all of them do five something pretty cool. So, they're not just like normal event toilets. Like, if you remember our older events, for example, the like large heart toilet is pretty much just strong. Like, and it doesn't really do anything unique. But these toilets actually do pretty cool things. Right. I mean, it's a pretty oh, big event. It has the biggest that. event pass and it has like its own map. It's gonna also last a long time. So this event's I'm gonna, gonna be a pretty like five big hours thing in, in the update. game. So I like... personally have got a lot more to do because I have still gotta balance all the units. Evan's done with, I think, five of the units so far. I also um, gotta make all the UI. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do all time, the UI yeah. today and then hopefully by tomorrow yeah. or the day after Evan will have finished all the units and then I'll balance all the units and make the clock game mode. And once all that's done, the event will pretty much be ready. Because stripping the UIs should be really easy because we already have an event pass UI. So Evan could just... Oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to mention. He's going to re-script the way the event pass works so that it works better for future event passes so that okay. it's faster next time we do one to update. But okay, hopefully it better that be shouldn't normal, take too like... long. Maybe like no one or two bro. days. So if everything goes completely right, the units get fixed in two days, new event pass system is fixed in a day, and then all the UIs and stuff are scripted in a day, and maybe just another day for tying everything together for the event, and that's six days, and right now, it is Tuesday, so that would actually be Monday, oh. but I, I want to aim huh? for Saturday still. I want to aim for Saturday, who knows? Oh, I'm going to try to finish everything I have to do for the update today, if not tomorrow, but we'll just have okay, to see so how things go Saturday, down. We're Monday, also working though, so on some new no things for partners. Like I'm not going to say too much about that yet, but we have some pretty cool plans. I'm really looking forward to the clock event, but that's pretty much it for the video. So as okay, always, well, like, subscribe. Great video about Talanthric. Shout out to Talanthric, I guess. Uh, if you want to watch the video without me uh, yapping over it, uh, go to the description. The video is right there. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you at the update, guys. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please check out these things on the screen right now. Check out the links in the description for all watching in the Discord server. And yeah, see ya.